It's warmer in here than outside on this crisp February morning. The sweet smell of ripe strawberries fills the greenhouse. Abu Sami's family has been farming this land for generations. This is Bitlahia. <laughs> At 82 years old, Abu Sami doesn't only have a lifetime of farming knowledge, sweet. but he has also witnessed the constant change of this political landscape. We used to sell our product in Israel when we were under Israeli occupation. But since 2006, when Hamas took over and Israeli imposed the blockade, we can't sell in the Israeli market. So farmers' income has decreased a lot. Now the main market for Gaza strawberries is the occupied West Bank, around an hour's drive from here. Israeli product compete with us, even in the West Bank because my product takes days to get there, as it has to follow certain lengthy procedures, while Israeli produce takes just a few hours to reach the market. The client prefers freshly picked rather than mine, which loses 20% of quality along this journey. Certain fertilizers are banned by Israel, citing security reasons, and that too, we're told, is affecting the quality of the strawberries. But despite that, things are moving forward. Now this is a relatively new way of growing strawberries. They started hanging them around three years ago and farmers are telling us that they get around three times more strawberries using this technique rather than just keeping them in the ground. And there's less risk of disease because they're protected by the greenhouse and also far from the ground. This hanging method also maximizes the use of space. And it's also pretty. While we're filming, a group of visitors arrive. I took selfies and videos and I will upload them to social media. I did not know that we have these farms. They're fantastic and I don't think many people know about it. I think we should publicize this and increase awareness of the good things we have. But the restrictions of the blockade are felt in every layer of this farming process. And there is the never-ending cycle of escalation between Israel and the various armed groups here. The darkest period in our lives is after 2006. The siege is really tough and it's banned all our movements. It affects every part of our lives and unfortunately things are getting worse. You simply cannot predict today what will happen tomorrow. Perhaps a small respite is the reliable cycle of nature, the changing seasons and the harvest they bring. And if you manage to drown out the constant buzzing of the Israeli drone in the sky, you could, just about, imagine a very different reality. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, in the strawberry fields of Beit Lahia, northern Gaza.